Hello, good morning and welcome to the news at 7. On the news this morning, Governor Biano inspects at fountain of Isuofia Ekulobia Omunze Road Spore. INEC begins distribution of electoral materials ahead of Saturday's rich adult pools. Federal Executive Council supports President Buhari's order on ballot box snatching. Two cardinals write open letter demand end to wrecking sexual abuse scandal in the Catholic Church. Good morning and welcome. I am David Wapasele. Governor Willie Obiano, the Anambra State Government has commenced the asphalting of Isuofia Epulobia General Hospital Road. Governor Willie Obiano, while inspecting the road, promised to add street infrastructures to the road. Government House correspondent AG Kapana reports that the 2.34 kilometer road is a spot to Isuofia Epulobia Umunze Road was abandoned by the federal government for 12 years. The story is here. Governor Biano, who expressed satisfaction with the quality and pace of work at the site, stressed that the contractor has been mobilized, asking him to generate certificates for additional payment. The governor, who reminded the people of Isuofia that the third phase of the Community Choose Your Project initiative has commenced, stressed that the contractor and workers must be indigenous to benefit directly and indirectly from the project. I want to let you know that um, I'm very serious about the works I do around here. I'm not playing politics with any of my roads. I'm here to specifically, on a surprise basis, to see whether my contractor is on site or whether he's been carried away by the election euphoria, you know? Uh, but I'm very happy to see that he's working. So, who's on to Akanaka? Masuga Kanayonu, Kunukwade, Ndi Aiwetan. Unu bal first, your word bal first, na the whole of uh, old Agwata. Speaking, the Commissioner for Works, Engineer Marcel Ifejiofo, said that the firm has assured of delivering the project before the rainy season, adding that the thickness of the asphalt is above specification as the ministry is paying special attention to ensure that they do not go back on standard. His Excellency, we don't want to thank you. You've seen that road being done by state government. And the assurance we are giving that this contractor has been mobilized fully. This road will be completed. This road will not stop. I want to assure you, it's a short distance. Before the rain comes, we are going to complete this road. And if you look at this road, I have seen, we've seen what he's doing. The thickness of that fact we are seeing is more than the specification. So that thought is doing a very, very good work. And Anambra State Government, through the Ministry of Work, we are paying special attention to this road because of His Excellency. Earlier, the Chief Executive Officer of the firm handling the project, Chief Adolf Izuebu, assured that with adequate mobilization, the project will be completed in 90 days' time. Uh, 12 months, uh, 12 months, 12 months project, but well, because of the leadership style of Aboko Global and we want to lead the indigenous construction company in this state. For this reason, we want to complete this project in 90 days. Thank you. And we will give you the best in their different speeches, the Commissioner for Housing, Mr. Emeka Ezewanne, a one-time central bank governor, Professor Charles Soludo, traditional ruler of Isuofia, Igwe Aloysius Morgalo, Chief Titus Anabogo, and Abga candidates in the area, among others, turned out to welcome the governor, applauding him for executing the project which they described as a jinx. From Isuofia, in Aguata Council area, EGK Abana, ABS News. The Independent National Electoral Commission has commenced the redistribution of electoral materials across the state for the rich adult presidential and national assembly elections holding on Saturday. Their size, which was done at the premises of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Oka, were witnessed by political party members, election observers, security officials, INEX staff, among other relevant stakeholders. Correspondent Chibuzo Koe completes the report. 
Briefing the stakeholders on the preparedness of the commission, the state resident electoral commissioner, Dr. Nkwachuwaji, said that the redistribution exercise is to ensure that the Saturday's general elections is successful, as the commission has put all logistics in place to ensure a free, fair, and credible poll. Dr. Oji allayed the fears over the integrity of the materials which has been distributed before and assured the stakeholders that all the materials are still intact without any form of compromise. We had a fire incident in our office uh, which affected uh, our storage facility housing the smart card readers uh, for the state. Today we intend to bring out the materials the way we have batched them. We have batched them local government by local government. So the result sheets are batched local government by local government. Credible elections, the commission came to the conclusion. Local government by local government. So the state resident electoral commissioner explained that the fire that got their office recently damaged their smart card readers, but revealed that the commission has gotten 5,173 smart card readers, though they expected to get about 6,000 smart card readers. The implication is that our target of having uh, smart card readers for 5,720 RAs in, uh, poll polling units and voting centers in Anambra State, plus at least two for each ward, we may not be able to achieve that target. Because the total number of smart card readers that we have uh, is 5,173. That's what we have as at present. And that is very insufficient to meet that target because we were targeting to get up to 6,000 plus. The state chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Ndubisi Mobu, and the state secretary of the All Progressives Congress, Mr. Chuhuma Agufugo, all expressed readiness of their parties to the election, but expressed worry over the integrity of the materials. I'm really worried about the integrity of the materials that had gone to the field. We are greatly worried. Uh, because you know, it, this has gone into the hands of a multiplicity of persons. We didn't get to have the details of what was uh, distributed earlier as against what was brought in, and we're expecting to have all that here so that we'll do a comparative analysis of uh, what we are going to receive today and uh, taken to the ranks. Just beside me here are the materials uh, ready for distribution across the 21 local government areas of Anambra State. INEC has assured Nigerians that they will give them free, fair and credible elections. All we hope is that INEC work the talk come Saturday, 23rd February 2019. From Central Bank of Nigeria, Oka, it's been Chibu Zoko here for ABS News. The Society for Equity, Justice and Peace, Sejib, has called on security agencies to maintain professionalism in their conduct during this Saturday's Richard Old Presidential and National Assembly elections. Speaking to the ABS in his office at Paul's University, Oka, the general manager of the faith-based non-governmental organization, Dr. Emai Zenwaji, stressed the need for security agencies, especially the police, to always perform their duties within the ambits of the law. Dr. Zenwaji, while describing the February 23 election as very critical, called on over 2.5 million voters of Anambra State extraction to come out en masse this Saturday to exercise their franchise. He called on them to safeguard their permanent voter cards, which he noted is the only tool they will use to enthrone God-fearing and credible leaders. The Sejus boss called on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to provide a level playing ground for all the political parties and candidates during the election, reminding them of the need to remain neutral as an electoral umpire. Adequately, both as INEC and the electorates cannot be overlabeled. Let us first commend INEC for its rigorous preparation of the election as they have provided timelines and milestones for various electoral activities and events long before now. However, these milestones and events have not observed much in the breach by the political parties 
because as we have seen in the just concluded primaries of the political parties, most of them are still itching for candidates to be accepted by INEC till today. Commuters plying Enugu on the Express Road are now having heaving a sigh of relief following the reconstruction of the Agwaka Junction axis of the road by the Anambra State Government. Work, works correspondent Ngozo Bileri monitored the progress of work on the road and now brings us the report. When ABS arrived the scene, staff of the Anambra State Road Maintenance Agency were seen carrying out various duties like brushing, watering and asphalting of the road among other things. The managing director of the agency, Engineer Meko Okoye, was equally seen directing the workers on how best to get the job done. Speaking to the ABS, Engineer Okoye explained that though the road is a federal road, it is being used by Indianambra mainly, and because of the series of ghastly accidents recorded in the area, Governor Willow Bernard decided to fix it to put an end to the ugly occurrences. Engineer Okoye maintained that the agency under the directive by the governor is intervening in many failed portions of roads, both state and federal roads, including Nobi Junction, Ugunwa Asike in Ogidi, Tazan Junction Aziz of Onicho Were Express Road, Akwata Road in Oka, among many others. Let's see, um likes to make sure that uh, Anambra people are safe uh, and uh, enjoy good roads in Anambra State. This is a very dangerous junction. There have been several accidents here, uh, a lot of them fatal. We are up here today, maximum tomorrow. Like you see, we can only walk in the night, you know, um, because of the heavy traffic. Uh, and it's even dangerous because of uh, uh, the, 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 the traffic and the speed with which they come down. So we walk more in the night. Some commercial bus drivers, Mrs. Chibuzon Natwanya and Victor Oko, praised the state government for the move. While narrating their experiences on the road, they said the road, considering its nature, could lead to crashes, but with reconstruction of the bad portion, such crashes will be contained. From the Agwaka Aziz of Enugwanecha Express Road, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News. Still to come on the news, Federal Executive Council supports President Buhari's order on ballot box snatching. We we'll also bring you that two cardinals write open letter demand end to wrecking sexual abuse scandal in the Catholic Church. Stay with us. Ndiyanambra, the general elections are here again. Be patriotic and do what is right. Do not sell your vote. Do not buy anybody's vote. Buying and selling of votes are criminal offenses. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Don't be caught napping. If you are caught, you shall be prosecuted. Vote according to your conscience. Vote for the candidates of your choice. Remember, election thuggery is an offense punishable by the law. Say no to electoral violence. Don't forget, your vote counts and your voter's card is your passport to make the needed change. This message is powered by Anambra Broadcasting Service. You're welcome back to the news. The Federal Executive Council has expressed support for President Muammar Dubuari's statement that anyone who attempts to snatch ballot boxes during the forthcoming polls will do so at his own expense. This position was made known by the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed. Mr. Mohammed, speaking with journalists at the end of the meeting, said the fact supported the president. Meanwhile, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Buku Buratai, has said that those who are se seeking to undermine the country's democracy by interfering in the electoral process must be seen as enemies of Nigeria and dealt with appropriately. The Army Chief also said that though the military is mandated to defend Nigeria's territorial integrity, it is also constitutionally accorded the power to act in aid of civil authority when called upon to do so. Buratai said this in his opening remarks at the expanded weekly meeting with principal staff officers, general officers commanding, and directors held at the Army Headquarters Conference Room in Abuja yesterday. And on entertainment this morning, rave of the moment, Teni Olabata, also known as Teni the Entertainer, has been featured by YouTube as its as his trending artist on the rise in 2019. The talented singer attained the feat with her, her hit single case, making her the latest artist to look out for on the Artist on the Rise platform dedicated to highlighting new music star. 
stars. The song case has earned her recognition from video streaming platforms, especially YouTube, who announced her as its latest trending for the year. The singer released her hit single case and has over 4 million views, making the singer to rise to fame. By virtue of this recognition, the video streaming site will promote tennis videos on its US trending page in social media ads and fan events expressing appearances at YouTube spaces. In 2018, it was described that Tenny took the industry by storm with her hit singles after another, making the singer emerge as the breakout star of the year. The singer who, awarded, who was awarded as Hades Rookie of the Year Award in 2017 has also won the Sound City MVP Award for Best New Artist. Tenny becomes the second African artist to be named YouTube Music's Trending Artist on the Rise. The Artist on the Rise features were rolled out by YouTube last year as a platform where it spotlights new artists in the various trending tabs. So tell me what the hell are you waiting for? If not to drop in on me, we go drop. If not to suck it, guy, we go suck it. What the hell are you waiting for? If not to fry a car, we go fry. If not to suck a car, we go suck. All right, two prominent Roman Catholic Church cardinals have urged an end of what they call the plague of the homosexual agenda, telling bishops to break their complicity over cases of sexual abuse. In an open letter, Cardinals Book and Brand Muller says the church has wrongly blamed the abuse of power by clergy as the main cause of the scandals. Instead, they say the cases involve priests who have gone far away from the truth of the gospel. They also openly criticize the Pope. Stories of sexual abuse of minors have emerged across the world and the church has been accused of covering up crimes committed by priests. Their letter comes on the eve of an extraordinary summit of bishops in Rome called by Pope Francis as an effort to deal with the scandals rocking the church. Cardinals Raymond Book from the US and Walter Brandmuller from Germany reject that the cases of abuse are a result of clericalism, a group of men abusing their power and protecting each other. Former Arsenal goalkeeper David Seaman has told Chelsea to appoint former Gunners boss Asun Wenger as Maurizio Sarri's replacement at Stamford Bridge. Seaman believe, believes that Wenger, uh, Wenger would be a great choice to replace Sarri at the West London club. He stated this ahead of Chelsea's UEFA, UEFA League round of 32 second leg tie with Malmo this night. Sari, who joined Chelsea last summer, has been under intense pressure at Stamford Bridge due to the club's recent poor performances. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by logging onto our website, www.absradiotv.com. You can like us at www.facebook.com slash absradiotelevision. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ABS. Radio TV. And now, before we go, here are the main points again. Governor Biano has inspected asphalting of his Sofia Ekulobia Omunze Road War. INEC has begun distribution of electoral materials ahead of Saturday's Richard Old polls. Federal Executive Council has supported President Buhari's other on ballot box snatching. Two cardinals have written open letters demanding end to reckon sexual abuse scandal in the Catholic Church. That's the news this morning. I am David Wapasale. Good morning, Anambra continues right after now.